Darth Sidious is undoubtedly one of the most powerful Sith in history, with his command over the Force being his true calling card. Sidious was so powerful in fact that he had stated on one occasion that he believed himself to be above the use of a lightsaber, and that he merely used a lightsaber to mock the Jedi. However, there are many holes in Sidious's statement that would render this notion untrue. The fact that despite that he had mastered all seven forms of lightsaber combat, he still felt challenged by Dooku's skill, and Dooku's own rising power. He had technically lost the duel with Master Yoda on Coruscant in the Senate Chamber, and he kept the second backup lightsaber. A lightsaber that he used at times when no Jedi were present, and chose to use a lightsaber against other Force wielders. If Sidious truly believed he was too powerful for a lightsaber, then these things would not have happened. This is what we wanted to open a discussion about today. We want to look at the facts and challenge Sidious's claim. It is no secret that we know of Sidious' opinions on lightsabers, which is that he doesn't really like them. The idea has been lightly explored in many different stories when Palpatine discusses the blades, with him outright stating that he judges the Sith's merit based on their power and knowledge of the dark side, and not their skill with a blade. It seems that Sidious strongly adhered to the idea that a lightsaber was truly a Jedi's weapon, and that the Sith had entirely grown beyond their use. Let's first discuss the holes in Sidious' statement, and why he is not more powerful than a lightsaber and beyond its use. Then we will discuss why he says this. Firstly, as stated before, if he had not cared much for lightsabers, then he might have chosen Nyman as his form of choice, and then went full into his power with the Force, opting for a more Exar Kun approach. However, he dedicated the time and study into mastering all seven forms of lightsaber combat and honing his body to be a living weapon. Something to note about Form 7 is it's something that acquires the mastery of all other lightsaber forms in order to use proficiently, meaning that Sidious dedicated a whole lot of time to his mastery of the blade for somebody that doesn't think that he needs it. Now of course, this can all be stated to simply be because he wanted to truly embody what it meant to be a culmination of all the past Sith by possessing their very skills. However, we know that Sidious never really intended in being in very many duels, as when his grand plan came to fruition, it would require very little saber-to-saber -saber combat and fighting at all. Despite this though, Sidious always kept a backup lightsaber, which meant that he was planning on a contingency plan in case he lost his own original one. Sidious wouldn't need such a contingency if he never planned on using his first lightsaber. I also want to call out Sidious's claim that he uses one merely to mock the Jedi. This, I do believe, is true true, but not to the extent that Sidious claims. It is true that he made his lightsaber out of expensive metals, which essentially rendered it more as a piece of jewelry than anything else. This was a direct affront to the Jedi's humbler, more monk-like way of living. And Sidious wanted to counter this with an expensive and an elegant weapon, which goes against the very fundamentals of a Jedi. However, very few Jedi even ever saw Sidious's lightsaber, with only one ever living to tell the tale. The thing about it is, is that Sidious used his lightsaber more often when Jedi weren't present, such as when he dueled Maul and killed Savage Opress, and when he survived the ambush on Ryloth in the Lords of the Sith novel. Now of course we can argue aside that Sidious probably used his sabers with Maul and Savage to embarrass them as well, and show them how inferior they were to him, a true Sith Lord, mocking their reliance on their own lightsabers. But how does one explain what happened on Ryloth in the canon novel Lords of the Sith? In the novel, Vader and Sidious end up crash landing on Ryloth during a rebellion uprising, and the two Sith Lords have to survive many perils, and Palpatine actually uses his lightsaber not once, but three times during the whole book. The first was when he used it to help kill the resistance fighters that ambushed him as well as Vader. The second time was when he and Vader fell into a nest of large creatures, and they fought together to kill them, using their lightsabers. And the third was when he actually was about to kill a little girl with his lightsaber before Darth Vader stopped him. If you ask me, these actions don't describe a man who doesn't seem to be too powerful for such a weapon, especially of course because no Jedi are ever present here. Even though he was a highly skilled duelist, able to contend with even the most masterful of combatants while treating it like playtime, he still lost the duel to Yoda on Coruscant in Blade to Blade. And when I say he lost the duel, I don't mean the battle entirely, which was more or less ended on a stalemate with Yoda having to retreat once the guard arrived. I mean, as far as lightsaber to lightsaber goes, Yoda technically won the duel as he had defeated Sidious on even ground, besting him at lightsaber combat and actually disarming the Sith Lord according to the novelization for Revenge of the Sith. 
After Yoda disarmed him, Sidious flew up to another senate pod, gaining the high ground and deciding to fall back on the area in which he was more skilled, that of course being the Force. Yoda and the Emperor engaged in a Force battle, however in this area Sidious was the superior. So what can we gather from this duel and this information? I think a good conclusion to draw here is that although Sidious is very powerful with the Force, there are situations where a lightsaber is warranted, even in his mind. I fully believe that the duel with Mace Wind do in the Masters was an instance where he was mocking them, but in the duel with Yoda, he was disarmed and had to fall back on his force abilities, where of course he was more superior. However, just because he is more effective with just using the Force doesn't mean he has become too powerful for a lightsaber. However, unlike the Sith Lords of old and even the Jedi, Sidious is not needlessly arrogant. He is proud, yes, like any Sith would be. However, he doesn't let his arrogance blind him or leave him open to weakness. So if he made a statement like this, there is a reason for it. I must admit there is something that I have been keeping from you this whole video that may actually prove the hidden meaning behind Sidious's claim. His bold statement comes from the novel Dark Lord The Rise of Darth Vader. His actual words were that the Sith had outgrown the need for lightsabers. His statement was not one of arrogance or self-indulgent pride, but simply a matter of fact. Let's explain. Sidious was not implying that he himself was too powerful for a lightsaber in the literal sense, but in his ideological sense. The Sith under the rule of two shed their cloaks of conquering through brute force and war. Conquering with a lightsaber was no longer the way of the Sith. Instead, they used cunning tact, superior intelligence, and always stayed one step ahead of their enemies. Sidious didn't win the war by cutting down droves of Jedi with his blade. Even the most powerful Sith Lords of the past, such as Nihilus, did that and still lost to the Jedi. No, the Sith had evolved and grown and had become so much more than a religious warrior group like the Jedi. They had become the very political lifeblood of the galaxy itself. This is what Palpatine meant by the Sith had outgrown the need for lightsabers. This is what he meant when he said he uses the lightsaber to mock the Jedi. Not in a literal manner, but in a way where he is essentially play fighting with them, even though the Jedi had already lost and had lost for many years prior. His duel with Mace Windu and the Masters, and even Yoda, was all just playtime for Sidious. He was indulging their ideas that they could still beat him with their lightsabers but of course they could not. In a sense, it was all a big joke for Lord Sidious. But anyway, students of the Force, what do you think of our assessment? Our final ruling was that Sidious was correct, but not in the way many people assume he meant. Do you agree or disagree? Let us know down below. And as always, may the Force be with you and have a great day. Let me fall to my